it's shit like a- Avatar fucking Korra. Like every time a company was like, oh yeah, we'll just make him gay and fucking trans or whatever the stupid thing you want us to make the dumb character be. And then all, the, all these people are like, yes, they will all bend the knee. And that's well, what then, they do But now. there's well, an ability this is to write a good character. Is, okay. I, I want to wrap around. across Noah. everything. Yeah. Noah, go for it. I want to wrap around real quick. Is is I remember this being during the height of like the whole games issue, and I I'm gonna come back to this with the whole that character thing. Where they're like, I can't relate to this character because they're not like me. And I'm like, listen, yeah. my favorite character to play as in a video game is like a nine foot tall scaly alien from a theocracy. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I don't uh... fucking give a shit, dude. The Arbiter's cool. You know what I mean? Like, why does every character have to be you? Why are you trying to insert yourself in every fucking it's story? It's frustrating too you know because there's losers. movies, there's books, there's so many instances yeah. of media that I can think of that I can look back to where there was a male protagonist and I there was plenty of things I could relate to in the protagonist. Now, yeah. of yeah. course, there's certain things that men and women experience different. So of course, there's there's going to have to be media out there where there's a female protagonist. Well, of course. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a female. It doesn't have to be there, a person, a Cuban. Well, it doesn't have to be an Italian or a black well, person. Well, I mean, in my voice. personal opinion, you know, like... You, I, I think they yeah. all have like to be anyone. Italian. <laughs> yes, well, I, mean, I agree. Wait, wonder, they all have to be Italian. Every game, every Italian. Every game, no matter what their fucking gender, I, it has I posted, to be Italian. I don't yeah, have I, representation of any other race everybody, everybody. other than Italian. Shh. Everybody. Shh. Okay, Captain Wonder, you wanted to say something. I want to make How sure kind you of you. I'll kiss you on the cheek. All right. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm, like, totally down for, like, inclusion and stuff like that. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, you know. Uh, But it's the fact, I think some companies, they'll go and they'll use that as their only selling point. And holy shit, what is that? Um, That wasn't me. That was the last of us, too. They'll pretty much just be like, well, we'll think of, like, for example, like Overwatch, right? It's like, was a pretty fun game when it started out. And then they just let the entire game die. And when their fan base started to dwindle, they were like, guess what? Soldier had a boyfriend. And it's like... (laughs) Crazy. And this the, is what I was saying. fucking DLC yeah. or something. Dying. Is it true? It's like, so like, I'm entirely like, down for it. It's is a it shame true that they closed the like, like, for Overwatch they only, like, they only in 2017. Wait, what, James, what, what, what did you say, James Cunningham? Yeah. Is it James. true that the, that the uh, that Blizzard spent millions on researching how to make each Overwatch character as fuckable as possible to different demographics and fetishes? Yeah, yeah, and shit. It's actually true. No, I would believe it because I've played as Roadhog before. <laughs> that I'll is show the, you old that Roadhog, all right. <laughs> I, oh, I feel you like played twelve Roadhogs, one hole. That was a good. Oh was... my god! The Gio, saddest thing like? you will ever find are those. I, I uh, feel those like uh, I'm okay. going insane. No, um, I feel I feel like you you could like. Y- there's a lot of indie media I feel that does, um, not that it, like again my own religious beliefs aside, there's a lot of indie media that does the LGBT thing quite well i mean when i was younger i watched uh what's that one with hillary swank boys don't cry that was a great film that was a great film i must say boys don't cry was kino and i think that even in video games there could be a potential if you wanted to do the trans character that isn't like um like like last of us 2 or like the recent controversy with uh the cyberpunk thing it's just it's, like yeah, it yeah, there is. It doesn't have to be cringe. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to do it cringe. without making it feel shoehorned because the more I, yeah. shoehorned in it feels, the more inauthentic it feels. And if I was somebody who you claim to be representing and I found this yeah. character that just felt like a token, I would be offended. It feels so disrespectful to me when I see yeah. that. I, yeah. I will say right yeah. now that um, there are two visual novels that I can't name because it's, actually, it's like major spoilers in it. Um, but there are two visual novels I've played, Japanese, obviously. Um, where the twist has to deal uh, with trans or one of the twists. Yeah, but the and- Japanese and, and mangas have been having trans and women and lesbian and yaoi characters for like, you know, since the, the 80s. But well, what I'm saying is they, they, they do don't it. give a shit about They do it, it. Like, so well compared to everything that I've seen in like American games and media and stuff where it's just like, uh, cringe alert, bye-bye. <laughs> well, cause again, I, because I think the, the biggest is issue- sincerity. Yeah, well, yeah, that's is yeah. part they of actually, it. Yeah. They, they actually are, like, they, they're they doing it because they want the character to be that, not because they think it's good for fucking... But, but, uh, yeah, no, it's like, it's not because they're, they're not, trying to tell a story. It's because they're... 
they just feel like they have to. The, yeah. It's going to make yeah. it sell better. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. it's for but metrics. It, it's a lack of integrity. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, but exactly. Remus, like we've talked about this about like what is the deal with like on, on like the extremely online like right wing cinephilia? I think it's because. The, the, Japan and other Asian countries manages to escape like Western political categories, but there's something more there. That I think that's like when you envision like a futurist society, I guess Japan is like the closest on earth. Yeah. Uh, like Tokyo is the closest city mm. on earth we could come to, to like a futurist city. But even when it comes to art and entertainment, it's just, there's something, there's a certain like je ne sais quoi that they do. I don't know. It's like not, not to go into it because there's problems obviously with, transporting yeah, japanese obviously. context mm-hmm. media into america what i would say well, well, well what well, i'd say is exa- watch any watch any western cartoon right mm-hmm. like a c- cartoon designed for kids that's designed to teach them sort of like life is awesome and it's an adventure and go make friends and like be cool and have fun go watch it See, that's the problem they need more king of the hills version, and, and then say watch that and, and then watch evangelion <laughs> yeah no and then watch one piece watch one piece mm-hmm. watch watch dragon ball watch yeah. something like that and and the difference is, is that Dragon Ball. One Piece isn't pre- <laughs> Dra- Dragon Ball is more about punching each other, but that you know. Uh, it, do I do I need to switch to my phone to show my uh, my Detolfs next to me in my whole Dragon Ball collection? Yes, I have. Yeah, I have. Yes. It, it, I have the, too much. <laughs> the idea here is is that it's like it's like they're they don't insult your intelligence. They're gonna talk to you about shit that's heavy and real. Like there's fucking like intense slavery in one piece and it's addressed like barefaced they don't they don't they don't hide it you know when i was very young there's like death and child abuse but 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 the only let's look at one of the shows that does um okay you know that rule like you know you never want to write about child abuse you never want to write about rape right okay let's yeah. look at courage the cowardly dog one of the only oh, shows dude. to oh, yeah. wow that's a lot of dragon Ball. <laughs> that oh, is my so God. sick that's awesome but anyways yeah courage the cowardly dog was one of the only western animation shows in my opinion that managed to actually do the uh <laughs> plot lines of rape right. and child abuse actually like correctly that was like wow i can't believe it's a children's show but it has like a lasting impact even like the audience that's well into their 20s and 30s now right so i i just exactly. i don't know i th- like this whole like laziness around writing itself even like in video games for instance it's just like what was the controversy with mass effect there was some kind of like consent thing going on like i don't know it's just like I, there's yeah, a lot of these Effect was just having well, random but bi- like mass effect just had random conversations about being non-binary happening yeah. like as like background chatter yeah and like they they all, just they to have it ugly. there that, that's the other thing. French they, all looked, they all looked kind of ugly and look i'll be honest with you noah i know you're a big fan of the um what's that series the elder scroll series i don't know I actually i hate them you hate oh okay i thought you really like based i thought you really oh, liked i like oblivion i like everything bo- i like i like i kind of like oblivion and i like the shit before that but i hate skyrim dude pretty shit oblivion i like how oblivion is basically game. just like unintentionally the funniest game to ever be made <laughs> yeah. yeah it really is but is yeah, the, it the consensus that skyrim is close. like the best game ever. Stop right there, people. Yeah, that's 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 what uh, I mean. By, that's like, the YouTube normies. streamer thing. That's what I even going back to what I said before. Finished playing hey, Skyrim. The real well, Skyrim it, is Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> there you go. But uh, but when it comes to Japan, nice. okay, like you you have the following in Japan. You have like some engineer who's designing a highway connector. Like I don't know what you call it, but like on the highway where like one highway goes into another one, and they design it Median. to be like a piece of fucking art you know that you could look at this thing from far away and admire it and that's because like they want to put in everything they can into this while here it's the opposite like we have this very much let your free flag fly type of culture where i don't think we have a necessary amount of pressure to actually get that whole kundalini activated to get that whole fire of the gods this promethean energy activated like the japanese have and this is why i think a lot of people are depressed today this is why i think a lot of americans are in the deep shitter because they feel like you know like life's passing them by they're doing drugs and they're not really doing something that can lift them the fuck up they didn't have the right influences maybe and what else do they have left like i don't blame the people who do just like put the hashtags uh the um uh, of whatever political causes or their pronouns in their bio what else do they fucking have 
they didn't they weren't given anything else so like now it is up to but even the media yeah. like even the media that they were given now the people in charge of that media and we could argue like okay our video games art do they possess like a certain aesthetic quality that is beyond yes. art or yes like, they, do. they are uh, well remus so we could argue about this ever could but uh, no I, no but what i mean is like even the the media the the media itself like the from like the people that create these games or these franchises like disney for instance is in my opinion one of the most evil corporations because That's they're actively right. alienating their audience base and they're actively going against it's like they're trying to shed or trying to create a subject within their audience that is you know totally disciplined and like docile body towards their own like view of what a perfect consumer is right so it's like i don't know what is that like it seems that media has such an omnipresent nature to like common existence nowadays that Disney like is in a position where they could literally own half of all entertainment and media production in the world. So it's like, think of it that way. Right. Like, like, because what gets sold in, like, for example, in the developing world, what gets passed on is the most mainstream shit. You know what I mean? Like apart from yeah. their own native media. So it's like when the fucking Marvel universe is being sold for like a rupee and like this in the, some shore bazaar in Calcutta, <laughs> right? Like, it's like, yeah. what does that say about the colonialization well, of West of the West yeah. and towards the rest of the world? Right. Sorry. I'm just screeding right now. So it's, well, uh, well, Disney uh, did have, uh, for those who know, uh, don't know about it, roadside Romeo which was this uh, production, this Bollywood slash Disney animation production with these animated dogs uh, that did like all the Bollywood dances and there was like a hot dog <laughs> Oh, there really? Too. Yeah, she was like a literal, yeah. she, she was a hot dog, you know? Like she was uh, voiced by Karina Kapoor. Here she is. Uh, here's the image. So I know we're doing a lot of furry stuff today, but this is important. This is education. <laughs> so this is the cover of Roadside Romeo. Oh, Jesus Romeo. Christ. <laughs> this looks like something no. you would find in the dollar store. Uh, I'm going to have something to say about this. I have to pee again. I'll be right back. All right, oh, go for it. Empty the bladder. But no, dollar store movies. I found that um, that Ratatouille movie that everybody and their mother was reviewing on YouTube. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That really bad Ratatouille ripoff. I found it at a Goodwill and I bought it. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Well, well, my, my is... favorite is the old Atlantis uh, ripoff, like the anime Atlantis, the animated version where they had this musical score with these little animals that were yes, living yes. under and the rapping dog that that, that was great. So yeah. we need we need a lot more of that, at least because it's not just generic triple A slop. It's like there were it's some generic single A slop. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. like at least that slop has some weird like Eastern European animators who probably, you know, like are, you know, not paid really well, but they just like insert their own shit in there. You know, like they don't follow the traditional rules that are set up by the animation orthodoxy. Gio, you have a cat. Look at this cat. My cat Patchy. She Aww. recently yeah. She she has a bit of um an issue lately. We have to give her antibiotics for some like respiratory thing, but she's better now. That's so good. uh yeah. Good she's girl. old. She's fucking 15 years old. I can't believe it. She's still Almost. going. She's a but you can't tell because she's a run to the litter when we got her. So um pure look, pure calico. So, yeah, oh, well, this is 